Halo Reach Flight 2 progress update for you guys here. We recently got some information from 343 themselves telling us what the current progress is on Halo Reach. So if you want to know what the blocking bugs are, how close we are to the public release of the Halo Insider program for Halo Reach, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you another news update when it comes to Halo Reach Flight 2. I feel like I'm kind of a broken record at this point, giving you guys so many updates on Flight 2, but we're all so, so anticipated on just wanting to get a chance to play this game. And so obviously people are very much wanting to know exactly what's happening and why it's taking so long. So if you guys like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts are on that video as well. And if you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, that's Halo Reach. Coming to the MCC, we have Halo Infinite, Halo 5 news, Halo TV show news, everything in between. Make sure you tap subscribe, guys. Keep you guys updated with everything going on in the channel and in Halo. So let's get right into the video here. So as you all know that we are very much just in the waitings of just any kind of news and information we can get for Flight 2. I feel like I'm a broken record. I'm sorry for releasing the same, almost the same video. I feel like, but guys, this is a developing story. So I want to keep you guys up to date with this whole thing. And so recently Postums gave us an update on Halo Waypoint, giving you the current progress report on Flight 2 and how close we are to actually getting a chance to play this. We're going to be talking about the different bugs that are blocking this progress right here, the different tiers of testing that the 343 team does and how close we are to the tier that we are for Halo Insiders to get a chance to play this game. Uh, where the team is at right now when it comes to the flighting program right now, next steps for the Halo Insiders for the fire flight setup, and ultimately why this has just been such a complicated process. But basically they open up this thing talking about blocking bugs and what these kind of bugs are or basically that whatever amount of bugs or kind of functions that they want to have be able to be tested what bugs are, are there in this build and do they affect what they want to test essentially and there's different tiers of what they call for testing they have what they call rings you have ring zero which is just the internal team at 343 so that's including like the publishing team the pro team and developers so just keeping it all in house then you have the next tier which is ring one which is just the external partners that work closely with the studio as well and then you move on to ring two which is made up of even more partners of various skill sets to help test or help test builds just kind of it's basically an expanded version of ring one it seems like and then also we have ring three which are the halo insider program people if you guys are also curious about the qualifications that they're looking for from an Halo Insider, there are certain KPIs or key performance indicators that they're looking for when it comes to having people in these flighting programs. Postum states that this audience could be hardware based, it could be experience based, it could be uh, where their location is, or any specific metric the team is looking to validate or stress at any given point during these flights. But they also do stress that these are not betas these are flights, something kind of different here. Basically what your job do is to really test things out. If you find any bugs, report them kind of thing, where a beta is more just kind of a stress test really. Just to kind of make sure everything is working how it's supposed to. Well, we're actually like helping 343 develop this game, which that's why I desperately want to be a part of Flight 2 because I want to help in whatever form I can to make this game better because I want people to experience Halo on PC the way I experienced it way back in 2010 for Halo Reach on console. And between these different tiers, they have certain level of severities of what kind of can pass as a bug or what's kind of a blocker or anything like that. So obviously Ring Zero, which is an internal team, something serious or completely blocking, it's not getting past Ring 1. If the game's functional enough, it'll go to Ring 1, and then after that, Ring 2, Ring 3, that's basically the more uh, cleansed out of bugs the build is, the next ring you can go to. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so out of all these different tiers, what tier is this current build of Firefly on right now? Well, currently there are five bugs blocking it to get into ring two. Now list off the different bugs right here. Say so security solution does not auto install once game is installed. Number two, 
long delays in menus accompanied by matchmaking errors can happen. Three, opening the setting menu during gameplay can cause the roster to stay stuck on the screen. Number four, frame loss can be experienced in various menus when played at higher resolutions. And five, crash is present sometimes in matchmade firefight games. So currently the flight is stuck in ring one. That's gone past ring zero. So that's just a little bit beyond the internal team at three fourths rate. I'm going out to extra people just close that work closely with the studio and they're finding a lot of bugs like we just mentioned that really stop it from getting to ring two, which is a larger group of similar things to ring one. Bosom also goes into why flighting later makes sense. Basically, it's just that they don't want to give you a buggy product that just doesn't work because they want to test the experience of the game and they don't want things getting in the way of that. I mean, we could play the build right now and probably for about 70% of people, maybe it would work fine, but there'd be a, a good amount of bugs involving it that would hinder the experience of a lot of people that would stop them from really getting the true test of what they're trying to accomplish with Flight 2. I mean, some bugs that they fixed recently are things like upon launch, the user was prompted with a DLC prompt to install Reach and was unplayable to play. Uh, another one would be navigating too fast in matchmaking menus would display an empty menu or settings would be discarded when changing them during gameplay. A crash would occur when entering the settings menu. Disabled roster buttons were accessible and caused crashes sometimes. Uh, title crashes when pause and reach. Uh, gameplay we're using a controller and uh, game as has a fatal error when saving settings during firefight match queue. Well, this is what the open and honest dialogue looks like from 343. They're telling you that this is the stuff that's happening that's really stopping us. And also they're letting us know what they have fixed as well. So there's a, just a lot of really random little errors that come up when it comes to game development. So that's why I understand like why the delays of Flight 2 happening. And also don't forget that currently on the original Xbox One that there's a lot of, there's a big memory issue when it comes to the recent builds as well where the apparently MCC is already pushing the original Xbox One to its limits when it comes to memory and adding on the Unreal 4 engine on top of that and on top of then also using the progression system as well it's just overloading the original Xbox system and generally when it comes to any form of coding or programming you always have to make it for the lowest common denominator being the original Xbox Ones. Essentially, this is why we come out with new consoles about every five to ten years in between there uh, Just because the technology just it ages man And it's uh, that's why we have the Xbox Scarlet coming out in 2020 because the Xbox original Xbox ones are really showing their age and their limitations So I hope this video gives you guys more context of what 343 is currently dealing with right now when it comes to getting the flight to basically they're almost there to halfway it sounds like they're about halfway through this progress of like in between the ring one and ring two process so they're really about halfway about there to getting the game to us and they're probably at least they are aware of these issues they're working on them and uh, if you guys want to see some weird bugs that 343 has been dealing with check out my last video i uploaded as well uh definitely want to check that out guys because it's a uh, kind of a funny bugs that some some of them came across it was just pretty good a good laugh with that check out kind of video for sure and so the time frame for this flight update coming to us guys flight two when will we play it when it's ready that's about it no time frame set right now guys uh i would assume sometime this month uh, it's my assumption though uh rightfully so postum is not going to be trying to make any kind of rough time frames because with game development you don't know obviously sometimes some random bugs can pop up and just throw a wrench in the whole system but my assumption sounds like properly sometime this month we will get flight 2 and you better believe i will be streaming it if i do get a chance guys so make sure you follow the twitch link in the description down below you guys like if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like that button tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts are in the video as well if you want to update with anything going on with halo make sure you tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub feeds can be kind of weird at times if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out